Hey guys, going to do a video on how to download the latest Windows 10 Enterprise ISO. I recently realized that I wanted the 1903 ISO um, and I don't have access to the Volume Licensing Center or the Visual Studio Development Center, I believe it's called. So I did a bit of research on how to get it. So what you do is bring up a browser and get the latest media creator tool from Microsoft. Creation even. You can see that the media creation tool is called 1903.exe. So just bring that up. And we'll just take note of the directory, which is C uses administrative downloads. Then we're going to do with a Windows key R, bring up the run box and type CMD. Then we're going to browse to CD users administrator downloads. You'll have to browse to whichever directory your media creation tool goes to. Then we're going to type this command, which I'll put down below. Media creation tool 1903.exe slash EULA accept media language code in US retail. Media architecture is 64 bit. And the media edition, edition is enterprise. So what will happen now is the media creation tool will open. While that's doing that, I'm just going to go back to Google. And I'm going to look up the Windows 10 KMS keys. Select the first Microsoft link, which gives us a list of all the different keys you can get for a KMS server. So we're going to go to the Windows 10 Enterprise, copy the key, and then we'll just wait until this thing prompts us again. Okay, now it's asking for a product key. So we're just going to paste the one in we copied off the website and click next. Then we'll hit create installation media. Next and select ISO file. It's going to ask us where to save the ISO. So we'll just pop it on the desktop. Give it a name, Windows 10 Enterprise 1903. I'll just take note that this ISO is not the evaluation one that if you just google windows 10 enterprise the one that you're getting linked here is the microsoft evaluation center one so anyhow we'll just let that download and we'll be back in a minute Okay, we can see that our ISO is now done, so we'll just click finish. And we can see here we now have an ISO. I'll just mount it just to show that it works. Now to get a little bit more off topic, when you want to put Windows 10 Enterprise into WDS, you'll need it to be in a .wim format. We just check the sources here and look for install. We can see that the .wim is actually in .esd format. Well, there is a way to actually change that into a wim, so that's what we'll do now. I'll actually pop this PowerShell script into the comments below, just for anyone who might need to do it. So if we run that line, we can see the different versions that are within it. 
and we want version 3. So we'll select Win 3. And now it's going to export the image or the .wim. That's going to take quite a while. I have actually done it earlier. So if I just check C install.wim, which I'll just browse to C drive, and there's the install.wim. So hopefully that helps you guys out if you're looking for the enterprise ISO. All right, see you guys.